Although Tower One will not be complete until 2013, an ambitious goal has been set for it to rise 1,000 feet into the New York skyline by 9-11-11, the 10th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. At this height, it will be the tallest building in Lower Manhattan, a beacon of progress visible from all around. You know, you want to come back and show we're back and we did it right, we did it better. A magnificent building. Well, along with that, unfortunately, is the accompanying term in our profession of what we call target attractiveness. Bob Ducebella's job is to prevent another 9-11. There's a certain number of us who are essentially paid to manage paranoia. We're responsible for crawling into the darker places of the human psyche. And we try to manage the unconventional, we try to think the unthinkable, and we try to prevent, in some cases, the unpreventable. After 9-11, building a normal skyscraper was out of the question. Tower One sits just 65 feet from one of the busiest streets in New York City, and as a result, is vulnerable to threats at ground level. The only way to keep people safe was to do what no one had ever done before. Instead of retreating back from the street, America's largest skyscraper would be placed on a 200-foot pedestal lifting the office floors 20 stories above the ground and away from danger. I think it's appropriate and accurate to say that Tower One probably is one of the safest, if not the safest, skyscraper in the world. This protective pedestal would be made from the strongest steel in the world and wrapped in solid concrete armor. These are the blast walls, impenetrable walls filled with tons of reinforcing steel bars and packed with high-strength concrete, capable of deflecting any ground-level attack. The size and strength of these walls give Tower One unprecedented protection. We got a ladder all the way up in now. For concrete superintendent Georgie Fitzgerald, it is imperative that this tower stand the test of time. 